everybody seemingly wants to buy a BYD over so many other brands, especially Toyota. The latest sales figures from last week when the Q1 results came out show a 100.4% year-on-year increase in net profit for BYD Q1 2025 versus 2024 Q1, uh, reaching 1.26 billion US dollars of pure profit after taxes and everything. But beneath this impressive headline lies a concerning trend. Uh, so they've got shrinking profit margins a little bit, but that's not the big thing to report, I don't think, here. So let's delve into the numbers to understand what's driving this paradox to see where it may be coming from and where it may be leading to. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is The Charge Show. I'm Ben Alexander. Today, uh, I wanted to dissect BYD's latest financial results to understand how the company is navigating the complex landscape of soaring profits and tightening margins in the competitive EV market. The world is changing. There's a big change happening at the minute. A big tsunami of cheap EVs are coming from uh, China, basically, at a time where the Xpeng boss just effectively said that 95% or so of Chinese car companies will not make it to 2030. BYD are seemingly doing all right, I think. So in Q1 2025, BYD's net income soared to 9.15 billion yuan, or 1.26 billion US dollars, marking a 100.4% increase from the previous year. A big deal. So this growth was fueled by the demand for new energy vehicles, people buying their cars, basically. Uh, sales reaching nearly a million vehicles in the first quarter, which is 60% more than the same quarter last year. So I'm just talking about NEVs as well, so pure battery vehicles, not hybrids, not petrols. Uh, so BYD's revenue for the quarter rose 36% year over year to about 23.3 billion US dollars. Despite the profit margins increasing, BYD's gross profit uh, margin declined to 20.07% per vehicle, down from 21.88% in Q1 2024, last year. So it's down. This decline is attributed to uh, aggressive pricing strategies amid intense competition in the EV market around the world, and uh, also in China as well. In comparison, Tesla's gross margin stood at 18%, so they still make more than Tesla per vehicle, even though they spend a lot more on R&D, which I'll get into in a minute. This is fascinating. So BYD's average profit per vehicle stands at approximately $1,250 per vehicle, significantly lower than Tesla's, which is $8,250 of profit per vehicle for the first quarter of this year in 2025. This indicates that BYD's focus on market share expansion over per unit profitability. This is obvious because they're actually setting up new plants to build cars in uh, Hungary, Turkey, Brazil, Indonesia, Cambodia, Thailand, and I think there's another one I've forgotten. And those are combined going to produce about a million vehicles a year in about three years' time. So that tells us that in today's money, a quarter of all BYD sales will come from outside of China in 2028. Although that would be a misrepresentation of the truth, it does give us a rough idea of what's going on and it's got, it helps, us, helps us quantify this a little bit. BYD's annual revenue in 2024 reached 107 billion US dollars, surpassing Tesla's 97.7 billion US dollars. Uh, the company sold 4.27 million vehicles globally in 2024, a 41% increase from the previous year. Uh, and also BYD's aiming to boost exports to 800,000 vehicles in 2025, doubling its overseas sales from the previous year. Uh, when you combine that figure with vehicles that are built outside of China to facilitate the market outside of China, that adds up to a lot. You can see that they will be getting some purchase on the global EV market, even more so once they put these factories on online, basically, in a few years' time. So this, for me, is the standout point that I wanted to make. In 2024, BYD spent $7.5 billion in R&D in like one year alone, $7.5 billion, which is 36% more than the year before. Uh, and it was focusing on things like God, the God's Eye autonomous system. When you compare that to Tesla's uh, money that they spent, which was $4.5 billion in the same year, uh, that doesn't look so good for Tesla, does it? 
uh, because they don't have anything like the God's Eye autonomous driving uh, system. If you look at Tesla's total spent in the last five years, $15.6 billion was spent on R&D in 2020, compared with BYD's $25.5 billion in five years. So BYD's new Super E platform allows for up to uh, 1,000 kilowatt charging, which enables 400 kilometers of range to be pumped into a battery, basically, in five minutes or so. This alone costs $2.5 billion to develop, according to the boss Wang Chuanfu. BYD's strategy is obviously about market penetration rather than making profits right now this year. It's, all, it's obviously a long game that they're playing. Uh, what do you think... BYD have been spending most of that money on because obviously they don't tell us everything and we can't see everything but what they do tell us it spreads quite quickly uh, but they are spending a lot more money 80% more money than Tesla on R&D where do you think that's going because uh, I've got a few ideas I will not say that but I'll put the best I'll pin the best comment uh, with the best ideas I think um, if you comment I just thought I'd stick this on the end. This is just some footage from one of my 4K close-up quality control check uh, videos that a lot of people seem to like. I think most people like them uh, because I go really, really, really close to uh, all of the cars that are really well known at the minute and um, just show you really what the quality is like up close. I mean, I know you can't flick a switch or drive it. It's just a video. But it does give you a good idea as to the surfaces and the textures and the level of polish, you know. You can maybe spot if they've used uh, injection moulding or something like that or uh, the pliability of, of something, you know. So you can see that this is, uh, you know, contrary to, uh, you know, the popular belief of the, of the haters of Chinese vehicles that uh, this is basically comparable to you know Volkswagens, uh, Toyotas, that sort of stuff. They really are. I'm a former Toyota person and I really liked Japanese cars over the years but um, you can definitely see these days Chinese companies are not churning out rubbish. They're churning out compelling stuff that is you know you could basically just say is, is competitive uh, to Toyota and Volkswagens, other big companies that we all were all aware of. So um, yeah, I hope this footage is a little bit interesting too. I just wanted to put a couple of minutes on the end extra just to give you an idea, you know, because nobody really does this sort of stuff on the internet. They don't go really close to the cars and be geeky and stuff. I don't like, the one thing I don't like is that uh, most companies these days, particularly BYD as well, they don't clear coat the back of the bonnet. I think that's a waste because it looks beautiful. It's it's a lovely thing to do when they do that. They've already put it in a spray booth and painted it. Why not just put some clear coat on it?